How to use Superlist. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about Superlist, how to use it, how to get started, and what you can actually use it for. So basically, in a nutshell, Superlist is a uh, note-taking platform that is going to help you with, obviously, taking notes, brainstorming, uh, task management even, or at least daily tasks, you know, your day-to-day -day task and so on. You can just go ahead to create your daily notes and so on. So you can, it's just basically your um, notes taking platform. So you can actually go ahead and use it with Android, iOS, and you can just use it on your website or on their website, which is superlist.com. So you can just go ahead to get started, click on uh, your browser, open it up, go to superlist.com. And we can just go ahead and create an account for free. If you want to download it with your Android, iOS, just feel free to click on these uh, little icons here or text. And you can just, it's going to direct you to the actual Play Store or Apple Store where you'll be able to download it. Now, in here, let's just go to pricing real quick because it is actually free to use. Uh, but you have also the Pro where you'll be able to use AI list creation and so much more. So just feel free to compare them if you wanted to see which one is going to suit you best. This is for your individual use, these two. And then we have these other two, which are going to be for team use. So we also have a free team uh, plan here, which is going to allow for up to five team members and 15 shared lists between team members. And then here you have other stuff as well. So you can just go ahead and compare the pricing for yourself. Uh, and yeah, let's just get started and talk about how to use Superlist. So basically, you will need to just go ahead, click on uh, Start Today is Free within Superlist.com. And then you will need to just do your very own signing up uh, uh, process here. It's going to be a very basic one, so it's not going to be too complicated. Just go ahead and wait for it to load home to all your lists. And we can just go ahead and continue. Now we can continue with Google, Apple, or just with email, which is a normal signing up process. I'm just going to continue with Google and see you in the actual um, place after we are done with the signing up process. Okay, so once you finish up your signing up process, and by the way, you can use the same account for your mobile apps, whether it's iOS or Android, just use the same account and it's going to obviously work. Uh, but once you actually sign up, you should find yourself in here with the getting started page uh feel free to read through it i'm not going to read through i'm just going to direct you into what we can actually do here we have our inbox we have today we have tasks we have updates and so on today is going to be uh basically your daily uh, notes tasks and so on we can just go ahead and create them so basically you just have your daily notes here you have your tasks here that are basically uh, assigned to you if you have your team members or just tasks in general if you're just in the individual where you'll be able to see all the tasks that you can just work on upcoming done and so on and then we have updates here which is just going to show you um, any updates that happen between you and your team members like here as you can see tasks assigned to you comments completed tasks messages and so on so basically, to get, to get started, we can just go ahead and delete this. I don't really need it. And I believe the tasks go with it. Yeah. So to get started, you would want to create a new section, which is going to hold uh, a bunch of lists. And this is how it's going to work. So we would want to create a section, give it a name, which is going to be um, first uh, timer, for example. And then we can just go ahead and add lists to this section. So hopefully you understand, this is the top of the umbrella. You have your section and you have multiple things to it. So for example, if you want to lucid dream, you can just have, uh, it was so random, but yeah, I had to say it. So if you want to have some lucid dream or whatever, maybe create a list or I mean section for it and a bunch of lists that contain some sort of, you know, something that is related to it. Sorry about that. So let's just go ahead and add a list to this one and give it a title which is going to be test list and we can see we have our first list if you want to create another one just feel free to click on the same icon here next to the actual section so in here we can basically get started now you have this panel on the right side which is going to hold a lot of information later on 
but for the time being it's just going to show us a cool picture but we can feel free to change it click on the settings gear on the top right and we will be able to change the icon of the actual list so we can make it a rocket and you can see that it is a rocket now uh, and when it comes down to the actual page here we can uh, or image we can feel free to change it to our liking so i'm just going to keep it as this one or we can upload one uh, completely from our desktop if you want click on done it's just going to change it for us so it's just a little aesthetic thing but when we actually have more details shown they're going to be shown in this page here unfortunately i don't think you can actually just like change the uh, aspects between the two it's always going to be there so a lot of people may be annoyed with this but at the same time you know it's not going to really affect you that much here we have some things some things here like hide completed tasks or mark all as incomplete we can favorite oh we can remove it from the actual sidebar here uh which obviously is just going to make it disappear and we can also use ai to create our thing but obviously this will require um a upgrade so to get started you will just click on this space here and you can just go ahead and add a task by default it is going to be a task so you can just do water the plants and we have our tasks ready to go uh, we have a due date if you want to set it you have some uh, labels that you can also use that you can just create your very own labels to use them and we can assign it to a specific person so if you have your team members with you you can assign it to specific people so we have our task here if we click on it you can see the details about it on the right side if we leave a message so hello for example it's going to also show up like uh, as if it's comments and if we go to updates if it was someone else who actually left the message it's actually going to show you show uh, show you in here within the updates but because it's me who said the actual actual message is not going to show and here we can just go ahead and add more tasks to this one and you know have more options like you know the rest of them that we talked about like uh assign task mark is complete and so on now what if you want to create something else other than a task just click on enter and here obviously you will be able to create a task like i did before but we can just click on or uh, type in slash and we can just go ahead and create a heading for example like um today uh and then we can just go ahead and hit enter again do another slash do something else like a divider we can just go ahead and set up tasks for today and then we have a little bit of space where we'll have for example heading one. Oh, sorry about that i didn't mean to do that i want to go for heading one tomorrow and then you would want to hit that and make a divider and you will have more lists or tasks for your uh, other day and so on and you can also create more stuff like a simple paragraph uh, so more text in here and with this you can highlight a specific text and you can have a link to them you can make them bold italics or strike through so this is all going to be under your control uh and if we want to create more stuff just hit slash and you have all of the things here so you can create bullet points number list uh block quote you can add images tasks and so on so you have all of these things that you can actually uh, add to your list in here so if you want to hide that yeah, at least you can actually hide it and make it so that if you hover to the left it's going to show and basically uh this is how to use super list it's very simple and like convenient you don't really want to have something that is too complicated it is very simple yet very powerful and you have uh, like plenty of tools to use you have your tasks here that are assigned to you if you click on check as done it's not going it's just going to leave disappear uh and here obviously you can just uh either hide or leave them which is completely up to you and mark all is incomplete it's just going to do that for you one last thing that i did not mention is that if we go to settings from your profile here just click on settings uh, and just go to integrations here you can have integrations with gmail calendar figma github slack and so on so you can actually have 
integrations with these apps which is going to be great just notice that this says pro these at least say pro so you'd want to upgrade to use them but here you can use them for free which is great so you can actually see what each one does so for example for gmail convert emails into super list tasks google calendar is going to create uh, calendar events from super list tasks with due dates so it's actually going to show in your google calendar which is great and then here you have also microsoft to do and so on with that being said i hope that you found this video to be easy to follow and hopefully you enjoy superlist because it's actually a very simple platform yet very powerful like i said and thanks for watching